Yo, 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 yo. Coming to you live, man. We at All Star, Chi Town. We in the building. Yes, sir. The blackest one. Me. My main man, Common. We got a real one in the house, yes, y'all. Sir. Chicago right stand up. Yes, sir. up. What up? Cheers to you. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Thank y'all, man. Let me, I want to say first, I'm, uh, man, I'm grateful to be on here with y'all, brothers, because, you know, like, you know, I knew Q just watching him coming up, you know, being from Chicago. I was looking at all, you know, a lot of Chicago hoopers. And then when y'all was in the league, man, I loved watching y'all play because it was just fun. Appreciate and and y'all just played together. And I could tell y'all brotherhood. Yeah. We all dreamed of being hoopers, but y'all made it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's real. First question we ask everybody since with you, we're going to ask it in two parts. Uh -huh. um, the first person to bust your ass. The first person to bust your ass on the basketball court. Yeah. And we're going to ask the first person, we'll put in a sense, that bust your ass in the studio. Where, right. uh you seen somebody rapping, you was like, shit, I got to step my lyrics up. Yeah. Or I got to go back to the to the page and, and get it right. Get right. So, can yeah. you ask in the Yeah, court? okay, on the, on the court, it was this cat that used to be from my neighborhood named Speedy. He could really hoop. He was quick. And he just, man, he just would get, I thought I had to handle <laughs> and then it just was like, he just <laughs> tear my ass up. Like, I'll play on one-on-one -on -one because the cats was like, you know, they'd be like, man, Rashid, that's my name. They was like, Rashid can hoop, Rash can hoop. And every time that, and he went, and he was shorter than me. Yeah. He was just quicker. Mm -hmm. That it was called. Like, yeah. Speed yeah. kills. Speedy, yeah, speedy. But then on the on the MC side, man, I, it's only it's only one song where I felt like, because MC, as an MC, when you get on a song with somebody, you like, I, I'm about to snap. You, right. you don't want to. You don't want people to be like, "Yo, he yeah. killed you on that song." Right. Yeah. It was a song I did with with cannabis. Y'all remember cannabis? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, man, he killed me on my own song. <laughs> 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 and my guys is like, "How you let this kill you on the song?" I was just, but I, it just was what it was, man. He, right. he, he was. Sometimes I just usually I don't never like. I would go back and rewrite, but he just was, he was in his own. And he, he was just dope. Had, yeah. I used to hear a lot of stuff about cannabis and how dope he was and yeah. respected he was or yeah. lyrically and so yeah. forth. Huh? He was uh, one, of the, one of them guys that really had like super dope verses. But, you know, one thing is like about songs is it's a song got to be dope too. Yeah. Like meaning you could be a dope MC. Yeah. But you still got to be able to make dope songs for people to really rock. Right, it's yeah. still music, so I I had to learn that shit too because yeah. it was like, you know, you be making, you be making, you be wanting to be everybody to say you dope, but then it's like okay, people saying you can rhyme, but people ain't messing with your music like yeah, that. Right. So you gotta you gotta put them both together. This is like a, I say like in New York, not trying to diss New York or so forth on, but you know, they, they the motherland of it. They all about yeah. lyrics and stuff like that. But you know, they got a lot of cats that really can rap. Yeah. But putting the song together is like it's a the different, most difficult thing. It's different, man. When did you like when you came up, I know you loved hoop. Yeah. You love the hoop. But when did you know like I this rap or this poetry or yeah. or these words is something that I really wanna play with and try to Man, I was do something with? I was twelve years old when I wrote my first rap. And and all my homies and like my cousin was like, they were they was like, damn, that's dope. So I was like, ah, I I might be dope. But then I just kept writing, and I had a group, um, that I like I had a group in high school, and then like around second year, sophomore year, I was like, I really wanna I wanna be a rap artist. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, I just knew. I, I felt like I could do it. Yeah. I knew I could do it, and I started at the time I was. I would go to records, I would buy records and write down the address of the record company yeah. and send my tape to, to the record. <laughs> send my school. Old school, school yeah. straight up, sending send my tape to the record label trying to get signed. When was the first time like you got you got the confidence to be like, I'm a rapper? Cause you know, I, I got homeboys that be like, I rap and I be trying to curve I'm like, hey, you yeah. rap, let's support it, let's yeah. do whatever, but It'd be a, a moment where you'd be like, I don't want to tell nobody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm yeah. a rapper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, was I, that? I think, honestly, I think by the time, by the time I was in high school, second year, I felt like I could say that because I'd be freestyling and lunch and mm. you know, gym class and people would come to me, yo, Ross, go on rhyme, kick that rhyme you said, you know, or just you know, so I, I could claim it. And plus, at a certain point, it just you gotta 
cl- it got to click that you can do it in your head. You got to start telling yeah. yourself you can do it. And once you go out there and do it, you like, oh man, I am one. I am yeah. one. And you see how it affect people. You know, I was um, I was talking to Baron Davis one time. He and, and it made me think of what Hoop did because he he said, man, I started wanting to hoop more because I saw how it affected everybody. You know what I was doing. Mm-hmm. Is that how y'all felt? Like what what what, what made y'all like be like, okay, I really want to hoop. Like this is my dream. I'm going for it. Simple for me, bro. I was watching MJ every day. Yeah. I legit, that's, you know, a lot of people say that, and they, you know, nah, that's re- the real true life story for me. I yeah. was watching MJ growing up here in Chicago, WGN sitting on my floor, watching the greatest to ever do it. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I want to be like Mike, for real. Yeah. Like, and I'm going out in the hall, in the driveway, in the alley, trying to mimic the moves and doing all of that. And to the point where, you know, when you get a little bit older and you start, you know, seeing what's really going on, you're like, Psh- I want to hoop. Yeah, like, I love this like this feeling I get when I'm doing it. I don't, I, I don't get this feeling nowhere else. Yeah, no, no other way. It's impossible to replicate. Like I'm out here competing, and then when you know we start to get good, obviously you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you want you. you yeah. That's what we thrive on. We thrive on the cheers, the people yeah. calling your name, talking about what you did, how you did it. You just want that. Yeah, that just, it just become you know that innate feeling like dog, like I'm a hooper. Yeah, then you start seeing it like. All right, they supposed to be the best. I'm, 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 I could be as good as him, or I'm good as him. And then, for you know, it's shit. It's go time. You yeah. Get, like you getting talked about and stuff, and now the scouts coming, and you starting to know it's real. You starting to play like. Cause I remember when I went to Adidas camp. That was the eye opener for me. My sophomore year, went up with that. This is the camp where T Mac became T Mac, where he went from unranked to to number one in the world. Wow. This is that camp. I'm in that camp. All right, cool. You know we here. Boy, that ball dropped. And they start hooping. I was looking around like, okay, like I'm clearly not in this league right here. <laughs> like I'm telling you, I had a bad camp, didn't get the ball, didn't play well. I came home that summer, military mindset. I gotta get better, bro. Yeah. And then I did because I had. You gotta understand, it was Lamar Odom was there, <laughs> T Mac was there, yeah. uh, uh, Tim Thomas. Everybody was there. This was like one of the biggest, man. I, when I got there, I was like, damn. I was like, this is it you, right here. You knew that. You knew that was a new level. It was a new level, and I wasn't on it yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, uh, when I started like really loving it, it was uh, fifth grade year. I started playing organized, and yeah. uh, my mom made me play. Yeah, like, made me play basketball. I used to get these permission slips from the coach. And then she would bring them home. I had a book bag full of permission slips because I never gave them to my mom. I always used to think she taking my free time or my time after school with my friends yeah. away from me by me going to practice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I never went to practice. So I tried to quit every time chance I got. <laughs> yeah. You know, starting off, you know how you you start off the team and you'd be like that whole month of just really working out, running drills, doing stuff. I went. I ain't never experienced that a real workout, a real like getting yourself in shape and all that stuff. So I tried to quit, 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 and I went through the season and we lost like two games, lost in the championship, and I was boohoo crying. Yeah, yeah. Like boohoo crying. But after that, every season after that, it was like this was the routine and to feel the games. Once I got to the games and seeing the energy. Yeah. That. Like I said, we was in elementary school, so you know, you got your mamas on the side, like, go baby, it's okay, baby, you yeah, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just rooting for you, you know, cause you you young kids and over the years, every year it got better. As I got better, you know, crowds getting bigger. And so when know, it clicked, like you was like, oh, I could really. On the man? Like, yeah. Like, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it clicked for me in ninth grade because uh, I had, when I was in eighth grade, where I'm from, seventh through ninth is junior high, and tenth through twelfth was high school. Yeah. So when I was in eighth grade, we had these a bunch of players that everybody thought we was nice. Didn't nobody think that anybody was the best player. It was other players that they thought was probably better than me. And a couple of the superstar players on the team, they left. Yeah. Cause they didn't think we was gonna have a season next year because we only played against two teams. So I stayed. But I was playing in pro amps. Yeah. So I ain't played pro I ain't played high school basketball, but I was playing with grown men in a pro am. Yeah. So I went through that ninth grade year and when I got to high school, I was, it was over after that. Yeah, you knew. It's, it's over. <laughs> and ninth grade is high school for us, but yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a different conversation. Yeah. But we didn't you know what I'm saying, we didn't have like we had ten games the whole year. Damn. And, and 
And I tried to play high school, but they wouldn't let me because I didn't go to that school. So they was like, no, nah, you can't you can't play. So I had to 10 games. We played one team four times, <laughs> two at our place, two at they play. Then we played the other team four times. And but you went straight that, from high school to the league, though. Yeah. Though. Straight so up. Did you, it was you, was it like junior year, you was like, man, I can go straight to the pros, or was it, when did you know that? I went, I just wouldn't believe it. I, I, I stayed naive to it. Like yeah. everything, because everything got better. Everything got better every year. I started seeing nothing but junior high coach, I mean, not junior high, but college coaches at the game my junior year. Yeah. Then when I committed, I went ahead and committed before my senior year, and next thing you know I'm saying, nothing but NBA collars in my, yeah, I told in my him game. I, say, bro. I took a visit to DePaul. I you told did? him, I said, bro, we gonna go out and hang out, but you out of here. Yeah, yeah you ain't going to I'm aware, I knew the draft boards, I knew what the, you know, the little mock drafts and yeah. all that. I'm like, bro, you own the draft boards in the top 10. Like, you not coming to the yeah. college, nobody's college for what? <laughs> That's real. That's what I, I swear, when he came on his visit, I was like, you know, I'm the host, I'm yeah. supposed to recruit him to come there. I'm like, <laughs> you out of here, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. By the way, I'm out of here too, but yeah, you out of here, bro. Yeah, you <laughs> like, here. But yeah. you can't, like sometimes it was just, a lot of people told me that, but you know, it's it's hard to believe and my mama stayed like foot down on me. Yeah. Like, don't take nothing from nobody. Don't be just believing what everybody say. Yeah. Just cause they saying it don't mean it's true. And I felt like she was scared for me. Like, to go, what? man, you watch Jordan them together. Like, right. you sure you ready for this, baby? You sure you ready for that level? <laughs> that level. You just right. gonna skip college yeah. and go to that level. So I felt like she was where my best friend. He and I, he was, he was like, man. But when he seen me around actual NBA players and be like, oh, he the same height as them. Yeah. He might be on the level. He yeah. might just stay up. When he came to visit the Paul, is that the first time y'all? No, uh, we played play AU together. Oh, y'all play AU? We played AU together. So yeah. when he was in eighth, ninth grade, I was in ninth. ninth grade, I was a junior. So from that point, we played the next two years on AU together. So he, for me, same when he used to have to come in town, he would stay, stay at my house because it's four hours. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, we got solid. That's what makes it so crazy, man. Like when I say, when people talk about this whole thing, it's like it's the truest form of being organic. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like yeah. all the way back to, what the celebration that we was doing, and then you bring it full circle. We've been knowing each other for that long, yeah. Legit, solid bros like yeah. that, and then for us to get this type of reception, like you know what I'm saying? How you like everybody to come and sit down with us, man? That's like a huge, huge deal for us. Like the the, the know that you know what I'm saying. And here you talk about how you rock with us, how yeah. you was watching us from afar, and, yeah. this and the third, like that's that's you know what I'm saying. All we doing is we the, everybody we bring on here, you. We we showing our love, giving you your flowers while you here, and showing what we rock people that we rock with. Yes, sir. And you know to hear the love is reciprocating like that. That's that's everything yeah. for us, bro. Like for real. Nah, when I saw it, I was I was checking it out. I was like, plus some things. I feel like now in the world, man, certain things is just real true. Like you saying, y'all got a real organic, authentic brotherhood and, and friendship. Like those things, man, are the best things now in yeah, the world. Man. Like. Uh, people don't be feeling that fake, like it's, yeah. that fake. It just ain't. It, it ain't. It don't do good for the world no more. Cats exactly. it, it be like, I ain't messing with that. That stuff. Yeah, you just gotta stand on it. Like you know, every, nobody's perfect, and you know, once you get past that, and I feel like you just gotta stand on it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It, One thing you said too, cute. I was thinking about when you was like, man, you saw cats, and you was like, oh no, I ain't at this level. I, rap wise, that happened to me when Nas came out with his album called Illmatic. That was his first album, right? He, that joint was so like, it was so groundbreaking, it was <laughs> incredible, right? So I was like, oh man, I ain't I ain't at that level. Right? Yeah. I, gotta, I gotta go work. Like I just started, I started working on rhymes and, and just reading different stuff to try to, you know, just build my mind up. Cause I was listening to Nas, Nas was using different words, but it was street, but it was, right. he was like a poet slash street, it was just, it was incredible. That took me to to new levels, you know. Where it up? Yeah. Joe's style is not what everybody is into. To, I know. You yeah. Are, you know what I'm saying? You got a message. You positive and, and different things like that. At what point did you change? Because I I feel like it was at one point where like you always been doing what you've been doing. You know, well, yeah. from Chicago, so I obviously been up. But like, it feel it feel like you got more popular at a certain point. It yeah. was like at one point you always still doing the same thing. But like at one point it was like the the, the light turned the off light, for everybody else. Or yeah. Something. Yeah, that's what, is, what really what happened was like I started getting better 
And even at a certain point, I think everybody started being like, okay, we can appreciate some of this music mm-hmm. too. Like this, we we like all the other stuff, but yo, this stuff got some some mm-hmm. value. And I had a song, I had a song called The Light. When you said the light yeah, turned on, the light, the light was like, that was the like, you know, that song was the first time I, I was like, man, my song getting past just that underground hip hop yeah. crowd and, yeah, and that, the artsy crowd. That felt like the neighborhood bigger. though, the video and yeah, everything yeah, was yeah, hard. But yeah. that felt like growing up at, at the crib in Chicago, yeah. that felt like summertime shy. I swear. Yeah, yeah, that man, that was a feel good joint that. And then I ain't gonna front, hooking up with, with, with Kanye when he was producing like the corners and B and all like my like Kanye knew how to make good songs. Yeah. So boy, like, unbelievable. he would say that he's one of the greatest <laughs> producers, artists that I've been around. So that helped too. But I mean, before that is when the light came out and then stuff, people started knowing me. But then working with Ye was like, okay, I'm going to take a a dude that's like an artsy type of MC just that may go left sometimes, but we're going to make these songs be something that anybody can rock to. Y'all right. rock to it up, you know. So yeah. it ended up, that's that helped. And then I started doing other things too, like, you know, but, along with acting and, and different mm-hmm. and starting. I think after a while, people started being like, well, dude, dude's sticking to what he owns. So, and they respected it. They saw I wasn't changing just for popularity. I wasn't gonna like, you know, just be like, okay, I'm gonna chase the dollar. You know, I, of course I wanted to be, I want prosperity in the exactly. budget, but, yeah. but I was like, I wasn't gonna change myself. Cause I knew I, at some point I gotta, I gotta come home to myself and look in the mirror and be like, damn yeah. right, you know what yeah, I'm saying? So, gotta do that. so I was like, I think you know, me sticking to what I, who I am, and being authentic to myself gave more people a chance. Eventually, if they got there, because you know, shoot, like growing up, you you like you might be like, all right, I'm all into this, but sometimes when you evolve, you be like, you know what, I see life differently. You might want to hear some music that. To yeah. chill you out, you yeah. know what I'm saying, like, because that made me think about like the the Hove line, like he in the verse giving you all the love in the yeah. world, like like lyrically, I want to rhyme right. like common sense, but like, then you know what I'm saying, like, so far I mean, I ain't been rhyming like common yeah. exactly. So you know what I'm saying, but then that's dope to hear, like you know, even though like you said you wasn't getting the bread like that, you stuck to who you was and then yeah. who you are, and and you know what I'm saying, it on the back end it came out your way, you know what I'm saying, yeah. like you still you and now. Everybody see you in a different light. You own doing yeah. movies, and you know you producing and stuff now. Like that's that's crazy, man. Yeah. So how did you even get to the point where you came from being a rap artist and then crossing over into film and doing that? How did how did that happen? Was that something that you sought to yeah. do, or it just kind of happened and you started to to go with it? You know, I was like, um, man, I was I put out. I don't think I was on my fifth album, and. Uh, I was just like, man, there's something else out there for me. Like, I don't know what it, what it is, but I knew I wanted to keep rapping. I want to rap for the rest of my life like yeah. a jazz musician. I love rapping, mm-hmm. but I was like, it's something else. So I started trying to do these different things, and mu- music oriented, really, and it wasn't moving me. I went to acting class because I was already, some this woman who worked at my record label was like, I want you to meet this acting coach. I met the acting coach, and I was like, okay, I'm about to go. Cause I was doing a little like little rap act thing, and I was like, man, I'm too nervous. I got to get past this, so I got to figure out. So I went to the acting class, and I was like, oh, this is this is something I really love to do. Like, I feel like as an actor, I want to be. I'm striving. I'm gonna be one of the greats. I want to do great work. Like you know, like really be a great. So right. I'm like, so I'm really working at the craft, and I kept, and I'm still working at the craft. And uh, I was going to class. I would be on tour. And I come back from tour, go to class, go to acting class, and know, uh, I started auditioning, getting you know just getting no, I wasn't getting no movies, no movies. Right. And then um they was like, they told my agent they was like, man this dude Green, that you know like he he ain't got no experience. So that next audition, I said, I'm gonna show them, I'm gonna show these motherfuckers. <laughs> right, got you hot. With yeah, that he got me, got me, got <laughs> you know. And, it, and I, that next audition, it was just the right time. It was a movie. That I really love the script too. So and and it was like the first time I got a call back, and I was like, damn, I'm, I'm I was geeked, and I just kept working on that same audition. I was on tour. I had a dude, this videographer, taping me, and he taped me doing the scene, and that was the first time I did. I watched myself, kept watching it back. It's like watching tape or something. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? So then I watched it back, and I was like, 
uh, you know, started learning stuff. Went back, got the got the second audition, out, and the, and the, and the director he really didn't want me at first. I mean, he liked my acting, but he he was like, I don't want to put another musician in the movie because he had Alicia Keys in the movie. It's this movie called Smoking Aces. Smoking mm-hmm. Aces, mm-hmm. dope mm-hmm. movie. Yeah, thank you. all And then, so but I came in there and rocked it, the audition, yeah. and he called me and was like, Man, I got the. I was about to be on tour with Ye. Me and Ye was on tour. I mean, it was about like we was about to go on, go on this tour. It was me, Ye, and Keisha Cole, and uh, and um, the director called me, man. He called me, man. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, man, tears was in my eyes. It was the first time I got a movie. Right. And I was like, man, I called my mother, like, mom, I'm about to be in a movie. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, like it was incredible. So, and then the next about five minutes later, I had to go over to the other hotel room and tell Ye. I can't go on the tour. I can't go on this tour. tour. Yeah. So it was like a roller coaster because this is my guy. He didn't, he didn't hooked it up for me. Like to, I'm opening up for him. Really, yeah, you right. know, and, some new energy. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, man, I can't, I can't do it. You know, it's like if y'all agreed to something. Yeah, you gotta but but you know that this opportunity is a dream of yours. Yeah, and you gotta go tell him, nah, I can't do it. So it was like that, and he was. This one, I was like, man, this is my guy. He was like, you know, I wish you could go. I want you to go do your, do your thing. You That's know, so right there. yeah, that was love. So then from there, I started just keep getting movies. But a, a, a lot of, see, a lot of the movies I was going for, like they don't they don't be one rapper sometimes. Like, and yeah. I was like, yo, I'm an actor. I ain't just a rapper. I'm rapper, an actor. Yeah. I'm a, like, I'm you put me with any other actor, I can. I'm a I'm a burn the scene with him. Right. You yeah. Or her. And um, you know, but some some directors didn't want to see me because I be wanting to do different types of movies. You yeah. know, I'm a I want to do all types of different films and be like in the okay, characters. Okay, character type me, huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I got you. You know, you know, we love we love basketball movies. Any basketball movie, you do yeah. just right, and it's with the queen. Yeah, like how dope was that experience? And you a bas- you love basketball. Yeah. You get to do a basketball that movie with Queen Latifah. Yeah. I Thanks, think that's yeah. dope, and it was a great movie. Thank so, you. So, yeah. uh, how was that experience? You dealing doing man, that movie? That was like the best, man. That was like a dream because. You know, as you said, we know I love basketball, so it was like my little dream to. It's like I'm playing in the league, league you know. The cameos, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like with the cameo, yo, yeah. the cameos, and and they like, you know, for the movie they set it up. Well, I had to train with this assistant coach for the Nets, you know, like right. so he was working on my shooting. Like I was really learning shooting better, like right. shooting better, and, like, and then I'm playing every day, and they work, they paying me. This is my first lead in a movie, and I'm getting paid to like learn. How to play basketball right. better? So it was like, man, this is a dream. And, and Latifa, she one of the coolest yeah. people. I mean, y'all probably met her, but she one of the coolest people, like you'll ever meet in 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 life. Yeah. And she just she's somebody that I always respected because she came from hip hop and took it to new levels. A whole like, nother level, you know. Oscar nominated actress and yeah. and doing you know hosting the Grammys and yeah. doing you know big boy thing big boy thing so yeah. she I always respected so when we did that movie I ain't gonna lie it was it was it was tougher like filming it but it was a lot of fun yeah. I hadn't I hadn't d- did a lead so I ain't know what it's like to have that that movie yeah, on your back yeah, yeah that that movie it's like. Yeah, it's like your team, man. You know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> right. It's your team. It's yeah. like they, in movies they say you're number one on the call sheet. Like I was number, oh, I was number two because Latifa was number yeah. one. But it's just you that that's your thing. Go get your thirty. Yeah. We need yeah. your thirty you tonight. Need your 30. <laughs> and you got to do it every night. Right. Yeah. Like you know, what <laughs> you can't win if you don't get thirty. If, if you don't get, and and that's for real. One thing about the movies too, like uh, when I did the movies, what I didn't like was the hours. Yeah, we was either. Filming from six in the morning to six in the evening, or it was six in the evening to six in the morning. How did you feel about that? Like them different hours? Cause I know you do your studio stuff and you yeah. like going there, uh, but it's on your own time. On my own time, yeah. Cause see, yes, that's what movie making is like. Man, you gotta like just surrender yourself to another schedule, another way of working. Like doing an album, you the director, man. Yeah. I set the times. I, I I say I'm going to studio three. I can get there at four. Yeah. You know, I'm paying for it. It's but, okay. You know, but but, but <laughs> yeah. it's all right. But but on a movie, man, you need to be on time, yeah. and then you got to be there for them long hours. Yeah. And man, I I done, done different movies where 
at least four movies where it's only night shoots, where mostly mm, night. Yeah. That's hard, like working at night shoot. Yeah. But especially when, man, I was I did this movie John Wick too with Keanu Reeves. Yeah. It's like a lot of action, right? Man, we filming at night. Now they ain't came and got me for a minute. It's like four in the morning. I didn't. I'm trying to stay awake. We got fighting scenes. So at, at four in the morning, you trying to like really be in tune and fight. Yeah, yeah. And you didn't, you know you didn't <laughs> yeah. did like right. y'all didn't got like. Two, a month and a half worth of fight choreography, like long fights, and you got to be on point. point yeah. But but it just make me appreciate the you know the actors that I do see out there, and and you know I appreciate the work because I know it ain't always just easy to film when it's when you know you standing outside in the cold. If we was filming a movie out here in Chicago Boy. and it was cold like it Boy. was, yeah, and you and you gotta. And you gotta act like it's f fucking like close to <laughs> it's like summer, it's nothing. yeah. And you can't put a coat on. You still gotta do the scene like you cool. That's that's beyond, you can't shake it. <laughs> beyond yeah. me. You know, yeah. yeah. What's some of y'all favorite movies though? Just in general. Coming to America. Yeah, that shit is my like, favorite man, movie ever life. of all time. Life, yeah. Eddie, life. it's a theme. All of my favorite movies, literally, like not, yeah. Boomerang, yeah. Harlem Nights, Life. Oh my God. Eddie, Eddie. That's one. That's one person I feel like. We gotta continue to celebrate. Yeah, he like, gotta celebrate him. He, he got set. Him, <laughs> him and Martin. Him and Martin. Him and Martin. Yeah. They, they, I mean Eddie, like you know you for Michael Jackson and he, and and Jordan and like Eddie Murphy Eddie is like, like Eddie Murphy. like he that. Like yeah. that. He, he like Jordan. that. He like Jordan. And I'm like, man, we gotta honor that. Why he hit? I mean, not that he going nowhere. God bless his yeah. soul. Nah, you right. But, but I'm like, he flowers, got to be right acknowledged. Here. Yeah, give him flowers. I love when you said it. That's right what right. it is. I'm yeah. like a all, almost all of Denzel. Whatever he do, be dope to me. Yeah, yeah. you know who I want to come back and just make dope movies is Wesley Snipes. I used to man. love Wesley Snipes. Yeah, he man. Come. He he I come. Want him to come back and kind of do his thing and get in the dope movie and do a dope role. He come, man. That dude. He wait. He he doing um coming to America too. Oh no, that's about to be epic. What about when you first the first like NBA game? Is it like a, a super nervousness or like the first time you step on the court and you in the NBA? Was it a was it an anxiousness like? Or? I had an anxiousness. I was really that's what get, I, I I do nervous. Like when I got but my mom used to tell me when you get butterflies or you feel like you nervous, that's just you anxious. Yeah. And I used to daydream all day. Yeah. Like if I'm if we playing at seven, I'm thinking about the game in my dreams. Yeah, I'm just in a zone thinking about what I'm finna do in this game. So the nerves never come. I, I turned it to anxiousness, and I turned that long time ago. Right. What about you, Kim? For me, it was always the like that's just who I am. Yeah. Whenever it's a game, I get it every time when I play in a big three. That every time it's a moment or. More than one moment. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like before yeah. the game, you'd be like, all right, like whatever it is. It's like an anxious feeling. I know yeah. it because I know I'm not scared. I did it yeah. too many times. It's just yeah. like, it's the same. It's like riding a bike every single time. I got it, like I said, I got it last night. I got there, I got in the locker room, got my jersey on, I'm getting ready. And then I was feeling it. I love that, man. Yeah. I love I love you because I definitely get it. Every, like, before any show, before, like, man, you know, before you're doing a war show, doing something, you just mm -hmm. get that feeling yeah. it. But, I always equate, I, I equate that, I make that, that make me know I love what I'm doing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's, it's a passion in in that, because I get that little nervousness or what, like you said, whatever you want to call it, nervous, anxious, butterfly. I'm like, and then you get out there. And it's on. And it's, it's on. on. Like, it's just, that's, that's one of it's the best on. feelings to me. Straight up. Playing a game, what would y'all use to inspire you? Is there anything like, like you, would you do a... Your own, you know how I just was lighting this Palo Santo. Mm -hmm. That's something I do. Yeah. Like, was it anything y'all do, like ritual wise or music or what? what, what or I think about my matchups. Like I say, the whole day, I, uh, I'm already into it with them, and they don't even know I'm into it with them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially like ones that I can be a little bit more gritty with. Yeah. Like, like rest in peace, Kobe. Like Kobe, a guy you can go in there and bow him, do all that stuff. It don't matter. Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. gonna do what he do. So you wasting your time. So you might as well think about your A game. Yeah, instead of trying to do dirty stuff or yeah. slick stuff. But you you saying so if you certain cats you could bow and they just not go they, like they, Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan is not you not gonna get a reaction out of him. Right? He's, he's not gonna. He, he, 
this facial expression gonna stay the same. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna do all the same move. He's gonna continue to bust your ass. <laughs> right. So you trying to talk to him and trying to get him out the game, that's the wrong thing. Your best bet is just concentrate on what you doing. Right. Like certain players like that, you can, but then you get to certain players that you can talk to. Yeah. Or, then, or you can whisper to, or yeah. you can bow a little bit, or you you know, your IQ a little bit smarter than his, so yeah. you can kind of make them, help them make mistakes. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, Damn, I ain't never think, so the elbows and stuff could take somebody out of the game, you saying? I mean, it's take all, them, it's them, all, it's all down. If I know you, If I know you're gonna get mad at me, and I can frustrate you and get you a tech, I'm gonna come down and bow you every time until you push me and I'm gonna, Flip on over, real call a tech, and then you snapping on the ref. Now you out of here. You're a good actor. I got him going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. got him going. Like it's like it's a mind game because it's it's not just physical. Right. It's 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 a mind game. You got to know this game. You got to know the plays. I was the type of player that played all five positions. Yeah. So I had to know where everybody was at all times. Yeah. So with knowing that you, your IQ get up. Yeah. You smarter than other players. Some people can't even tie their shoes straight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you make them make mistakes. I know if I got a big dumb dude under the goal, he always gonna jump. He gonna go for every pump fake. Yeah. Every time I go to the hole, I'm a pump fake, let him jump, jump into him, free throw line. Yeah. Let me get three of them and he on out of here. We can get him <laughs> out the way. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's a It is a, I didn't I didn't realize how game. much uh how much like intelligence and mind game it yeah. is the game is. Yeah. I've been like going to some games, I'm listening to Cats talking like on the court, saying different things. I'm like, damn, cats is really, mm -hmm. it's really like a, yeah. yeah. But it, does it start? It, does that start in high school though? That like the, the some level? people don't get it that early. Yeah. Some people don't get it that early. I'm, the good ones do. The good yeah. ones do. It start then, like with all of that. I mean, especially here in Chicago, how physical everything is. You already know. Yeah. yeah. All of that. You got your you got your gang members in the crowd talking yeah, to yeah, you, yeah. trying to inspire you not to do well. Yeah. So you know, right then, it, that's what for me. That's where it manifested that playing in, in the Red West on the Chicago West Side yeah. and Whitney Young. You know what I'm saying? We that was the toughest division, public league yeah. division. You know what I'm saying? We could play in, and we didn't. We seen it all. Had locks thrown on the court at us one time. Yeah. All that different stuff. So it's like. What you gonna do? Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. I'm still about to go out here and give it to y'all, yeah. and I'm gonna talk this trash because if I don't. I'm, I'm more afraid of what's gonna happen if I don't than right. if I do. Like if I do, like, and then I go out here and put this thing down on you, ain't nothing you can say. You just looking stupid, and then you want to do something after. We we'll handle that. How we, we gotta handle yeah, it? Right. But like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. if you, if you, you already know if you, you cower away, it's over. They won. Yeah. So you know you can't do that. But that that definitely started for me, grade school, high school. Yeah. The the basics is always there, always since like junior high, elementary. Like you know, you know the two three zone. You know right. the three two. You know the press. Yeah. All the bases there, you never really kind of see a team and they all of a sudden show you something that you ain't never seen in your basketball career no more. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you you know Priston's finna do the backdoor cuts and you know what I'm saying? You see this. But it's about changing. Like Kobe used to always say about like, man, I know he double team. I know what type of coach this is. He used to do his personnel. He, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. His due diligence. All the guys that go in there and bring up all the paperwork of the percentages of everything. Folks look at that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I know they finna double team me. So since they double team me, as soon as I get the ball in the post, the first thing I'ma do is look <laughs> to see where the double team man come. They ain't come, I'ma go on dribble on down. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? It's not, they, nobody's doing nothing different. Nobody's making no groundbreaking thing. The most groundbreaking thing was like Don Nelson back in the day when he did uh, start going small, small. Mm -hmm. right? That was like the last for real groundbreaking thing. And now you see the game, the whole game is small. Yeah, yeah. So it's like nothing, you can see this from different. elementary school or damn near all the way to the league. So right? Nothing is that groundbreaking. Yeah, man. nothing is really, nah. it's, it's more about the game. It's more about like playing chess instead of checkers. You just gotta know the game. Your IQ gotta be up. Yeah. The, best of the, the smartest person on the court is the best person on the court. Beyond people, y'all homies or whomever, y'all two, who, who would y'all say is, been one of the smartest players y'all played against. Kobe. Kobe. God bless his You know who was smart when we first got to the league that I was like, this motherfucker is good. John Stockton. Yeah, right? was he? yeah he was legendary. Like he ain't used to do nothing special. He probably had two more years left. He one running the fast or nothing yeah, like he was, he the was just smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever in the history yeah. Of yeah. He was in the right games. position. He he did things the right way. You know how they always say point guard, turn your back to the baseline. Yeah. 
And you know what I mean? Not your, your back to the sideline so you can see the defender and you can see the man taking the ball out of bounds. It's just a mandatory rule for point guard. Right. He knew everything and he did everything right. He barely made mistakes. Yeah. That's them guys that be having them, regardless of what the game is, he's just not turning the ball over. Right. He not wow. fucking up. <laughs> Kobe was, Kobe was unbelievable. Yeah. And then, it didn't get smarter than that. Like, well, we had him on the podcast. That man was answering questions smart, like for real. Like, yeah. for real. The dude, hey man, man was more prepared than anybody. He put he put the utmost time and he respected it different than anybody I ever seen. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like we all gonna go out and hang out and do this and that. Nah. My man was locking himself away in the gym. Getting to the money, yeah. Like just think about what he did. We just talked about with little real. Like he, like everybody, like we all go. You did too. You want to be like Mike, right? Yeah. He came closer than anybody to literally mimicking that man. Amen. You see the videos and the stuff on the internet where they got a split screen. MJ going into the move. Kobe going to. It's the identical thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, like that's yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like everybody, I want to be like Mike. When I my game went like that though. Yeah, I still yeah. love Mike to death. Everything, yeah. but everybody games go the way they go. Yeah, go the how your game identical to this man. Yeah, the Mike. Man, if you if you man look if you covered up their face and all of this, you would think it's the same person. The man walked like him, chewed gum like him, talked like him, yeah. and was cold like him. Yeah, yeah, man, it was unbelievable. Yeah, my guy was telling me that Cole was watching a lot. Of, watch Come Fly with Me a lot, but yeah. you know that, that Mike movie just a lot. Now he said that was his thing. It's it's like most point guards are. Hall of Fame point guards, they they IQ is like Jason Kidd was dope to me when Jason I first Kidd. got in the league. Yeah, you know? he a, he a smart player. He huh? was. Who, he, I want. I know what I want to know. Who who do you like watching now? I mean, we all love LeBron. Yeah. And, you know the 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 Russell Westbrook. I don't want to talk about the 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 obvious. People. Yeah, like everybody loved them, but I'm like out of these new young boys coming up and some of the under the radar do who. Who you like watching that you be like, man, this kid, he could hoop. I like what way what he doing out there. A John Morant really showing me that. <laughs> Young boy fresh. That boy, like, I see him do some stuff. Cause I, I you know, I like excitement too. You yeah. know, yeah. like you wanna you know, I want to be entertained, man. Entertain. I want to be, entertain. be entertained. So I and that's one of the things I love about basketball. Along with it being smart, it's a skill. It's a, it's really to me an art form mm -hmm. in a way. Yeah. But but John Morant got that and then Man, he entertained, man. He's special. He got that. He got that. Man, it. He, he got, got that. It. it. He got the that it. That boy, so. hey, that boy, go. Hey, he's special, boy. Uh, he, uh, he could do everything, but like you say, he got that. He got that pizzazz where yeah. like everything he do is too sweet. That boy yeah. jumping there, throwing passes and everything. Like, nah, he got it. Yeah. I, I, I rock with young yeah. boy. Heavy. Who, who, he who else y'all like for on the on the? I like I like Zion. I think like that he's dude special. is special. Yeah. Like, I, I, do you think? Is has has it ever been a player like him? Cause I don't feel like no, no. I don't not that like type of not not when you, when you combine you know size, weight, athleticism, yeah. and all those. It's never been nobody like that. Just leaving man, that boy leaves Earth. Mm. Called NASA, <laughs> <laughs> Earth when he take off for real. Then when yeah. he when he bang it, he he earthquake in that the dude, room. Nineteen, man, he's nineteen or twenty. Nineteen. Whatever. I like I like Luca. Oh, he called like Luca. Luca something we ain't seen before. He, yo, he, I game. tell people all the time, this is how you know. This is how you know he called. Because you know us as brothers, we like. Yeah. <laughs> feeling no white boy coming up in here killing mm -hmm. us. Ain't that nah, ain't? Yeah. He killing. You going to get this work. Every day. <laughs> wash and repeat, boy. Yeah. Man, he out there talking bad to him. Is Whoever. It? He be talking he out there. Watch uh, him. He swagged out. Young swagged boy. Special, out. boy. Yeah. He out there. He don't care. I ain't scared of nothing. He out there taking his time. He ain't fast or nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm nice. I'm about to create I'm, my separation. I'm about to get back. You're about to do everything. That's what I was wondering, man, because he moved. He don't move fast. Mm -hmm. And that's just like, that's just another type of skill, huh? That's so like, good. Huh? That's, that's a he girl. got a lot of that yeah. Jane Harden in him. Where you see Irk Jane Jerk. Harden know how yeah, to use yeah. his body in Euro and bump you off. And just think about it. Every time you see Luca, he he's getting by somebody. Yeah. He has separation for his shot. Like he he unbelievable. And it yeah. don't look it's fast. Good. It don't know, look that's fast what it, at all. He ain't gotta be. I'm like, man, he getting past. He getting past dudes. When you could do that, and he only 22 though, I think, right? Yeah, 20 only years 20. Old? Yeah. <laughs> man, his game is all. You right as a young. Special, special. special. Uh, them three, yeah. them three got them three. They gon' they gonna be a huge part of leading the whole new generation. They gonna be. There's some other ones in there, but they gonna be part of that. The face of the league deal. Once everybody start chiming out the old heads. Yeah, but besides, okay, besides like we know the three point thing. Like you say, it's kind of position is not. 
what's the what's what would y'all say is the biggest difference from like when y'all first was in the league to now? Like what you notice is different. Is it any how they compete? Cause like uh, it wasn't no days off. It wasn't really none of that. You got a position. I think point guard's position is big these days, but the rest of the position is lacking. Yeah. Like you look at the pre. We was looking at the previous All Star games, and we was looking like who was all on that All Star game. Yeah. And it was like. GP uh, from well, it was Carl Malone and Stockton. It's like Shaq, Kobe, Hall yeah. of Famers. Like yeah, All Star games was full of Hall of Famers. Yeah, like you look at all ten players, they were like Hall of Famers. But these days, it's like some of these cats might not make the Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. you know, it might be their first time going to All Star team, or they might just go a few times. It's like a toss up. The biggest, the biggest difference for me is just the you know the rules. They make it it's more it's it's, it's geared toward offense. Right. You know what I'm saying? With the rule changes, it takes it puts the defensive player at a, at a disadvantage. You you used to be at a hand check and yeah, that's things it. like you can't touch nobody, you can't do nothing, you impeding progress. So it's like for the defender, you at a handicap. Yeah, and that's why you see a lot of points being put up on the board. And you know we want to see points we scored. Want, so that's yeah. that's why it was done. It's exciting. You you speed the game up and. That to me, that's the biggest difference. I like yeah. how you speak up on defenders and you never been a defender. <laughs> that's great. I, I love how you show us love. <laughs> you remember doing the? We did the video. Uh, what was it? the song? Was go? Yeah, it was go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Brooklyn yeah. with the Jordan brand. Yeah. Post, remember, it yeah. was me, Melo, and, and yeah. T.O. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and T.O. We did the we did the spot for like it was a it was it was his song, but. You had hooked up with MJ on the collaboration to like push out the little whatever line yeah. he was dropping. It was the he, he cause we was in the magazine and everything. Yeah, we had all the kids dumb, on the yeah. Browns. Yeah, up in Brooklyn. Was, yeah, <laughs> we did. That was like the I was like I was like we went to 106. You debuted yeah. the video. Like that was the whole thing. Like that was one of you know what I'm saying. You got me on, the, on on 106. I yeah, I yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. I was up in there for the feature and everything. Yes, I'm like I'm in a music video, man. Yeah, Rockin' Jays, you know what I'm saying? Yes, man, yeah. To Mello, we was like. So popular, you know. Yeah. <laughs> One of my biggest highlights is you name dropping me. Yeah. You yeah. name Thank dropping you. me. I have top of your head like Darius Miles. Hey, man, I thought Straight that up. was the dopest. I love it, y'all. I love when I just name drop somebody, just think I'm dope or want to play with the words of my name. Yeah. I think that's that's a dope, dope feeling for, for anybody. But I, I was geek to say him up. And when I said that, my. The cat, the cast that was producing it was like, yeah, cause we all love hoop, so it was like, and y'all was doing that, you know, y'all was doing that thing. <laughs> Everybody, I love that y'all really ain't let nobody know what it was, but that was just y'all thing, you know. And, and you know, it created this show. Like yeah. I think it was dope that we kept it under wraps, even yeah. though it didn't mean the craziest yeah. things, but just yeah. the, the play on it and. I didn't. I never thought like twenty years later, me and my man would be like doing sitting there interviewing people right. that we like love and is fans of, and and doing it all off something that we celebrated and the name of it, you know. Yeah. So this this is definitely a blessing and a dope feeling. Yeah. Did you ever think Common Sense would be in the White House, playing with these words, spitting lyrics, and doing this thing, right? Like, like the president, man. president wife, like, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that was That's my, your friend. Yeah, that's my guy, man. <laughs> I'm like, yo, Straight up. And, and the first lady, I really, you know, Michelle Obama, I respect her a lot. She <clears> with the young dolphin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she oh, is man. from Whitney. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> she is from Whitney. Yeah, Should've that's right. Okay. South yeah. Sider, yo. She yeah. but uh man, I could, yo, the first time I saw something about Obama, my stepfather had a sign up in, in the window talking about I ain't know who Obama was, but then I was like, Found out about him and I and I um was I'd um saw him at some of the, he came to some of these hip hop summits that they used to have. So anyway, I got to know him a little bit and then I put his name in a rap. I claimed to be the first rapper who, who said <laughs> yeah. Obama, that, yeah. Obama name. I was on this Jada Kiss remix of the song, this song called Why, and I put oh, Obama's I name yeah. there. Uh. So anyway, I, I we kind of started building a good good um, brotherhood and um. I supported, you know, obviously his campaign. I was like out there trying to, yeah. to speak on it. And um, man, to be invited to the White House was like, man, I'm in the White House. One That's time, real. man, we one time I was in the White House and it was, it was like he had a thing about he he was trying to see some, do some work with criminal justice reform. So he so he was like, he had 
me, Alicia Keys, Rick Ross. I remember that. Chance, J. Cole. Like, I don't, I don't know if Khaled was there. Nicki Minaj. It was, man, we all sitting around in the White House. That was crazy. And I'm looking, I'm looking at this picture of, like, some white president that I was like, Man, he is in no way he would want this many black <laughs> bugs sitting around yeah. in the White House. We sitting in the White House. Talking. He would have bet it all. This so, one gonna happen. He would bet it all. That much. <laughs> Yo, man, I, I gotta say, I've had you know that when when I got to experience that type of stuff, I was like, man, thank you, God. Thank like, you, thank big you. man. That's yes, a big God. You, man. Yes, that's uh, folks like us. We proud and proud to even. Just see that when we see that, especially somebody that we admire and think is dope, to just get them opportunities like that is yeah. is, is definitely a blessing and and dope within itself. Appreciate you coming through, but we got a little, we got some parting gifts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. special gift we call this the black box. Yes, yeah, the blackest one created the black box. Uh, we got some little, little yes, merch for you, so you know. What I love saying? that the hoodie too. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Little hoodie. Then you and know. we got a special. Them very special sponsors of ours, our partners, you yes, know, they, they hook you up. Logo with them, on the back. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Heads look at his, yo. Good looking. You I'm going to say man. this and drink this one. Good times. Yeah, man. man. You Love, know. I appreciate y'all, man. Got a lot of respect, man. man. We got blessed, y'all. Yes, Comment in the building. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah.